So the topic of this video is when to hire a car accident lawyer. Stan, why is time of the essence when retaining a car accident lawyer or auto accident attorney? Well, I'm going to tell you the reason time's of the essence is there's a lot of evidence that's avail available right at the time of the accident that may not be there weeks, months later when someone decides to hire an accident attorney if they wait. Okay, we immediately begin to be, uh, gather facts about the accident, who was at fault, what sort of insurance coverages are available and things like that, because it gives us a roadmap on what can be done. As personal injury attorneys, we are concerned about getting a financial recovery for our client. We're concerned mm -hmm. about making our client financially whole. And part of that is in the beginning, we got to find out what kind of resources are available to our client. What's the coverage? What doctors do they have the ability to see? Do we have enough money to fully develop their claim out there? And that needs to be something you find out day one, day two, right at the time of the accident. And I think most claimants uh, or individuals who've been injured in a car accident, they don't understand that from the very beginning, from the outset of the claim, the insurance company, the, the, the chips are stacked against you. And the insurance company already has their individuals looking at the claim. They're already looking at a very skeptical eye. And they usually have lawyers looking at the claim from day one. And, you know, the old saying is he who represents himself has a fool for a client. Why is this so dangerous? And why is it such a perilous decision to represent yourself in a car accident claim? Well, because you can't approach it thinking the insurance company is looking to do the right thing. The insurance company is a business. And for a business, the right thing is making profit. They make profit by paying as little as they can on claims. And they've done this thousands and thousands, if not millions of times before. That gives them a head start on what they need to do to start minimizing your injury. Okay, sometimes they encourage people to delay claim, let them know that claim that they can go and treat anytime they want or they don't have to treat right away. They start taking statements from people at the time of the accident. And this is one that I see all the time. Someone, they go, how are you doing today? Good. All right, well, they're going to translate that into the person wasn't injured when they start taking notes. Later, a month down the road, when you go and look at it, those innocent comments you make when you say, hey, I'm doing okay, I'm doing fine, are going to be used against you to, to twist it into a statement that, hey, this person wasn't injured or denied injuries at the time of the accident. There's also studies out there that indicate that the individual who is represented by counsel does three times better. And when I say three times better, they net, their recovery is three times better than the individual who's unrepresented. And that's important to digest that because you're. it's not that you, the gross amount is going to be three times more. It's the actual net recovery in your pocket as the claimant, as the injury victim, is three times more when you're represented by counsel. And that's the whole wide range of lawyers out there. And that's not even based on who the best lawyers are, who are very experienced like myself and, and Stan, um, who have experienced trying cases. Stan's board certified civil trial lawyer. I first chaired many different trials and have uh, been lead counsel in over 2,000 Florida lawsuits. But you're, even your average lawyer is always going to do better than the individual is not represented by counsel. Why is that? Well, I can tell you right now, if you ask the average individual, you know, what's on a jury verdict form? What values a claim? What drives value to the claim? They can't tell you. Okay, I can recite that in my sleep. Day one, we want to start developing the evidence, putting the, the correct records in place so that we can fully develop each element of damages. You can't circle around six months later and begin to build a bridge that should have been built on day one. Okay, you need to start establishing wage loss. You need to start establishing uh, your inability to work. It's not just the fact that you didn't show up to work. We need a doctor to say that the reason you're not showing up to work is because you're too injured to work. Okay, well, if you don't have that documentation, you haven't checked the box. Okay, and if you don't check the box, the insurance company's going to ignore it. And there's a lot of those little boxes technical little boxes that attorneys learn how to check and force the insurance company to acknowledge the damages. They can't ignore it when it's presented in the correct format. Agreed with everything you said. Well stated. Uh, the only thing I'd add to that is that at the end of the day, the individual who's unrepresented by counsel, it's like a, a dog who barks loudly, but that has no bite. What's the bite? I mean, if you don't have the ability to take a case in front of a jury and try it, then at the, you know, you have to reverse engineer this, then the insurance company doesn't have much risk. And insurance is just a risk mitigation industry. Exactly. And insurance companies are like the bullies, okay? There's going to be a certain number of fights. They're not going to settle every claim. You know, which fight are they going to pick? They're going to pick the one with the person who's least prepared, the one with the documentation that's not there, the one without the attorney, okay? That's the person they're going to tackle and take down. The one with an attorney that's punched them a few times in the face, 
they know it's serious. They know they can't ignore that claim, and they know if they don't do the right thing, someone's going to take them to court, and someone's going to make them pay a lot more than it would take to settle the claim in the early phases. So those are the claims they identify as being the most likely to be expensive if they don't settle them. Those are the ones they try to take out in the initial phase of the claim. And those tend to be the claimants that do the best because not only does their claim get resolved fairly, it gets resolved quickly. Okay. And both of those are in the client's best interest. And the last question I'll ask you is this, and we're going to wrap up the video. When somebody puts in like the Google search query, right? They're, they're on Google, they're researching lawyers, and they're looking for car accident lawyer near me. That's what they put into the search engine. Why is it so important to hire a local car accident lawyer, somebody that's local to that jurisdiction? Well, because you need an auto accident attorney near you that knows the doctors, knows the documentation, knows who the players are. Okay, I can tell you on the back of my hand the five defense orthopedic doctors that are likely to be involved in any claim. And I can, on, you know, one step later, I can tell you what they're likely to say. Okay, I can tell you what the reports say, how they're going to attack it, and I can begin building the defense proactively into our medical records before it ever happens. Okay, you know that you know how these doctors are going to pick apart the claim. A skilled auto accident attorney has done this in the past. They've seen these doctors, the same doctors in your area, and you know the attacks. You know where they've messed up in the past. You know where they've testified in the past and things that have been contradictory in the past. Understood. Well, that wraps up this video. For more questions, uh, if you're in immediate need of an attorney or you want a free consultation with Dolman Law Group, call today, 833-55-CRASH. The website is dolmanlaw.com, D-O-L-M-A-N-L-A-W.com. I'm Matt Dolman. That's Stan Guype. Thank you very much.